Hello! Hi guys, it's Sinam Kafour here with the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. We're going to be taking a look at the display and the screen of the Xperia Z and comparing it against some of its competitors. And as you can see, those are the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Note 2 and of course the Apple iPhone 5. Beginning with the Sony Xperia Z, it's got a 5 inch HD TFT display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and this gives a density of 441 pixels per inch. To the left of this you've got the Apple iPhone 5 which has a 4 inch IPS LCD display which is LED backlit and has a resolution of 1136 by 640 from its retina display and this gives a density of 326 pixels per inch. And to the left of this, you've got the Samsung Galaxy S3, which is a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720 and a density of 306 pixels per inch. And to the left of this, you've got its bigger brother, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which is a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen as well, and a resolution of 1280 by 720 as well and a density of 267 pixels per inch. Now all three of these devices here, so the Note 2, the S3 and the iPhone 5, all use Cornering's Gorilla Glass 2 to protect the front of their screens. Sony have chosen to use Dragon Tail Glass for the front of their displays, which is meant to be more than two times more protective than Gorilla Glass 2. So, so what we're going to do is load up some photographs on each one of these devices, the same photographs which are all HD. Just zooming in a little bit here so you can get a feel for what's going on on the screen. The iPhone 5 with the low screen resolution is a bright picture, definitely. It is definitely a bright picture indeed, but the detail just isn't there, even with this uh, retina display. Even with the, the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2, the screen technology is exactly the same. All it is, the pixel density is higher on the S3 as it's a smaller screen. But the best pictures, I'm going to say, come out or look like the Xperia Z and the Note 2, just because it's a bigger screen but the same amount of detail, if not more detail, on the S3 because, as I say, the density of the pixels is higher. Again, the iPhone 5 doesn't seem as vibrant as the others. The AMOLED screens on the S3 and the Note 2 very, very good indeed. They look very vibrant. And the extra light from the HD screen of the Sony Xperia Z always looks that good. A darker picture here with just trees with snow. And you can see in the bottom, on the tops of the screens, where it's just system blackness there, the blackness on the Xperia Z is more grey than it is black, anything else. So if you just zoom in there, see how that looks. Yeah, the Super AMOLED screens always, always look good. Uh, showing very deep blacks. And as you can see, they are the S3 and the Note 2 looking better than the, the iPhone 5 and the Sony Xperia Z there. Look, the colours on all of those there. The Super AMOLED screens, very vibrant. You can get a feel for the green towards the bottom of the dishes there. You can't see it so much on the iPhone display, but you can see it a little bit on the, the Sony Xperia Z's HD screen. A lot more detail on the Xperia Z, as you can see. A lot more shine to the knife as well. Super AMOLED screens, as I say, I love these. The amount of detail on them, the colour vibrancy is absolutely awesome. All of them do well. iPhone looks a little bit washed out and less lighter than the others. The colour vibrancy on the Super AMOLED screens is... As you can see, it speaks for itself, to be honest. The amount of detail, even from not even fully zooming in on Xperia Z, on the strawberries there and the leaves is absolutely awesome. What we've got here now is the new Iron Man 3 trailer. Now, this is the extended trailer where Robert Downey Jr. actually does a close-up of the screen. So, hopefully, the screens will pick up on some of the detail on his face. This is what I essentially want to show you. Now, we've got the volume turned off on both because we're looking at the screens in this video. So, what we'll do is get this playing on all three. And hopefully, uh, if I can stop it in the right place. As you can see, the Super AMOLED screens always look good. The colour vibrancy on his face compared to just pure whiteness on the Apple iPhone 5. Now, the Xperia Z is a little bit in between, I think. It's got better vibrancy than the iPhone 5, but it's also got the light in as well. And you can set it so it's zoomed in, but I'll do it 100% scale as it is there. Is it scaled there? 100%. Now you can see the wrinkles around his eyes on the Super AMOLED screens and on his forehead. 
same there and actually see the detailing along his uh, moustache and his goatee and you can actually see it as well whoops gone straight ahead I'll go skip back a bit or forward rather same goes on Xperia Z as well you can see the incredible amount of detail it's a little bit in between the screen technologies of the Super AMOLED of the Samsung devices and a little bit in between the uh, iPhone 5 and the uh, LCD IPS technology but I think they've done a good job it's a good compromise between the two you haven't got too much vibrancy and you haven't got too much washed out colors so what we'll do um, see if I can get them all going to the beginning I won't be able to hit him at the same time obviously because I haven't got four hands why haven't I got four hands so here we go These aren't scaled, these are now running 100%, not zoomed in or cropped or anything like that on any of the screens of the devices. Look how good the AMOLED screens look. It's a little bit in between on the Sony Xperia Z. But it does look awesome indeed. The colour reproduction as well, very bright. Somewhere in between the Super AMOLEDs and the IPS screen of the iPhone 5. As you can see, in terms of the colours on the suits of those people falling out of the plane, they weren't as dark as or as black as the other remaining devices. So on the Super AMOLED screens, or even on the IPS of the iPhone 5, that it's a little bit darker than it is on the Xperia Z. The Xperia Z doesn't have a higher contrast ratio, so the blacks are tend to be more grey than they are black and seem a little bit washed out. But that's been a look at the screen displays on the Sony Xperia Z versus the Galaxy S3, the Note 2, and of course the Apple iPhone 5. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you a penny, and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.